What up, you? Ah. What? Hey! Today I am back with my favorite thing, your favorite thing, and that is another book haul. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a book haul. Like, what more do I need to say? <clears throat> <laughs> the last <laughs> the last time I did this was in September. So it's been a little while. I have a I have a good amount to show you. Next to me I have a fatty pile. An absolute massive fatty pile right there. That sounded disgusting. Um <laughs> a large stack. <laughs> I have a large stack of books and I thought it would be fun to just show you some of the ones that I picked up in these past couple of months because I love book hauls. I love buying books and I know, I know you all like watching them because I do too. So let's just get started. So of course it would not be a carry video if I didn't talk about some Colleen Hoover books and I have some new ones to share with you. First things first, I picked up the new cover of Hopeless. Out of all the new redesigned covers that she's been doing. This one is my favorite for sure. I don't know. I just love that it's simple. I love the color, the little sparkler. And then of course I got It Starts With Us. This came out last month. We all know. I don't need to say anything about this. Okay, this is where we get to the exciting books because I got some special editions and one of those being it starts with us look at this cover are you kidding me it matches the lilies right here which are um dying i did film this video a couple days ago and they were looking nice and beautiful but they're a little bit um droopy right now this was one of the books from the bookworm box for october which is like colleen hoover's book subscription box and i had no idea this was going to be the book so when i opened that box my jaw was on the floor because this is beautiful. And then another one that was from the bookworm box is Regretting You, another special edition. This, mm, was this from September? I want to say, I don't know. I bought this one like separate from the subscription just because I had to have it. I love this cover so much. Like the camera, the coffee, the flower, the, the watermelon Jolly Ranchers. Ugh, it is so pretty. And I just love having these special editions on my shelf. I'm obsessed. I am obsessed. And then lastly, I got the new edition of Verity. Oh my gosh. The back cover is literally just her face. Love that. Anyway, this is the new special edition. Oh, sorry. <laughs> collectors. It is the new collectors edition of Verity. I think the only thing really different about this is obviously the cover. It is a hard cover. The gold cover. I love the gold cover. And there's that new bonus chapter in the back, which I haven't read yet. This book came out in September and I still haven't read the bonus chapter. It's been like well over two years since I've read this book, so I don't really remember a lot of the details. I remember which side I'm on and I remember like the big things, but I don't know. I kind of want to reread this before I read the bonus chapter so I kind of remember what's going on. Anyway. That was too many words. Moving on to another one of my favorite authors ever. You already know, Candy Steiner. I bought a bunch of her books recently because in the month of September, she was having this huge sale on a bunch of her books. So, you know, I had to snatch them up. First one being probably what I'm most excited about and that is her small town romance series. Are these all small towns? Listen, I don't really know, but this is her, one of her series. It is called the, the, um, is it the Becker Brothers? I'm pretty sure it's called the Becker be be the be 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 the Becker Brothers series. Judging by the name, I assume each of these books follows a different brother. So the first one is called On the Rocks. The front says, "Everyone says Noah Becker is nothing but trouble. If only I had listened." Ooh, Noah Becker. More like no offense, but why is everyone in every book named Noah? <laughs> I mean, it's it's a nice name, don't get me wrong, but I swear I have read like 25 books with the name Noah. Anyway, this is the first book. The second book is Neat. What, who is this about? Logan Becker. All right. Book three is Manhattan. It is about Michael Becker. All right. Book number four, Old Fashioned, is about Jordan Becker. I don't, I don't really know what these are about other than that, 
but I am just so excited to read them. I really want to read them soon. They just give me like fall vibes, probably just because of like the covers and the colors. I'm so excited. I've wanted this series for so long and I'm so happy that I finally got it. And then I got a bunch of just like random books from her backlist because again, they were on sale and I just want to own them. I want to own them all. I want to read them all. One of those being Make Me Hate You, obviously by Candy Steiner. I'm assuming it's like a enemies to lovers judging by the word hates in the title that's always fun best friend's brother okay sounds like a second chance this sounds really good i'm looking forward to that another one i got is revelry this one is uh, about i don't know i actually have no idea what this one is about i haven't really heard anything about it divorced girly Ooh, a new neighbor this sounds good honestly these all sound good yes sign me up. The next one I got is Washed Up. It says a Bayside Heroes novel. Yeah, okay, so this is part of a series, a series kind of, but each book is written by a different author. How fun is that? I think this is book one, so that's nice. I don't know. Had to add it to the list. And then I got Weightless. Wait, did I already show this? I feel like I got this a while ago. This isn't new. Have I shown this before? I think I've already shown this before. This is not new. Is it? Um, okay. Okay, this is actually the last one. And this one, I am so happy to have one of my favorite books from this haul. And that is the special edition of Say Yes. One of my favorite Candy Steiner books. One of my favorite books from this year in general. When I saw this edition, I knew I needed it. I think this was part of some book box. Yeah, this was part of the cover to cover book box. I saw someone selling it on Pango and I snatched it right up because I love this. Look at the little Polaroids. The back is also really pretty and it's signed too, which ugh, I love. So yeah, super excited to have this in my collection. Please read this book. It is so good. Okay, now we have more. Oh no, this is, this is I need a coaster. Got the coaster. All is right in the world again. Okay, so now we just have some random standalones to go through. Starting with Flawless by Elsie Silver. This book is one of my most anticipated reads just because I've heard so many good things about it and that's it basically. I don't really know what it's about. I put it on my TBR like several months ago. Obviously didn't get around to it. I also just ordered book number two in the series which I've also heard great things about. Yeah, okay. He's a professional bull rider. Yeah, yeah. Or at least I was, until it all blew up in my face. Now my agent says I have to clean up my image, so I'm stuck. <laughs> so I'm stuck with his ball-busting daughter for the rest of the season as my full-time supervision. Oh, yes. This sounds so good. I'm really excited about this. I just need to get on it. The next one I picked up is a very popular one at the moment and that is Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. I feel like this is the new Magnolia Parks. By that I mean every time I open Instagram I see like five posts about this book um, and so obviously I had to I had to get it. I have to know what everyone's talking about. Still have not read Magnolia Parks actually but this was one of the books that I got the most suggestions for when I post on my story. I was like, hey, give me some book recs to get me out of this reading slump. And I kid you not, like half of the comments were icebreaker. So I was like, okay. I've heard so many good things. I'm pretty sure this one is about the figure skater and the hockey player. I mean, yeah, judging by the, the cover, it's definitely that one. Um, It's giving me from Luke Off with Love vibes, and I absolutely love that book, so I'm very excited about this. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be a whole series. Yes, it literally says series on the front, and it has a number one on the spine. That's fun. I love a good series. So excited about this. But also, I'm kind of nervous because whenever our books are like super, super popular, I always feel pressured to like it. And if I don't like it, then that's just very sad. For me. Okay, moving on. This one I talked about in my November TBR. Haven't read it, but it is After I Do by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I mentioned that I want to read more of her books. I've read two so far, liked them both a lot, and so I thought this would be the next one. Not much to say. I think this one is the one about the married couple. They're having some issues. They decide to spend the year apart doing whatever they want. 
whoever they want. They don't look each other up. They don't do any of that. No communication. But I heard it's emotional. So sign me up. Another one that I've talked about before already is Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. I got this during the Target sale and I already read it. I talked about it in my October wrap up. It was super cute. I liked it a lot. It was emotional, funny. I love the dude in this book so much. Daniel, love him. Another one that I mentioned in my TBR video is Tell Me Lies. This one I also just picked up recently. I really have no idea what genre this even is because when I was in Barnes & Noble I literally saw it in like three different sections. But yeah I'm excited about this because I want to watch the show. So okay and then I have a big old stack of thrillers. I have been reading a lot of thrillers recently. Well, kind of. I've read like three. Um, but yeah, I have just been in a thriller mood. So I got some more. First off, we have We Were Never Here. Honestly, I just bought this because look at the cover. I love this cover so much. It's so pretty. This one I'm pretty sure is like a destination thriller. So the characters are on a trip, I'm pretty sure. It's about these two girls. They are having the time of their lives in the stunning mountains of Chile until they enter their hotel room and find it covered in blood. Wow. Ooh. Can she really trust her closest friend? After all, this isn't the first time one of their trips has ended in bloodshed. This sounds really good. I'm very much looking forward to this. Love it. So last month, I read Daisy Darker by Alice Feeney. Loved it a lot. And after that, I was like, I want to read more of her books. So I picked up a few more. First one being His and Hers. This one is another one I talked about. I finally finished it. It is dual POV. The whole theme is there's basically two sides to every story, right? So this one is definitely more of like a murder mystery mystery. It was kind of slow. They're just trying to figure out who this killer is. So there's that. <laughs> and then I also picked up Sometimes I Lie. I'm pretty sure this one is about the girl who's in a coma. Yes. My name is Amber Reynolds. There are three things you should know about me. I'm in a coma. Yes. My husband doesn't love me anymore. And sometimes I lie. This sounds good. Love a good unreliable narrator. And then this one is the one that I've heard so many good things about. Seen it floating around over Instagram. And that is Rock, Paper, Scissors. This was another one when I asked for thriller recommendations. So many people suggested this to me. And so I got it. This one is about this married couple. They're having some issues. But what do you know? They went a weekend away to Scotland. Just might be what their marriage needs. One of them is lying and someone doesn't want them to live happily ever after. 10 years of marriage, 10 years of secrets, and an anniversary they will never forget. A marriage thriller, huh? And then yesterday, I went to Barnes & Noble because that's my only hobby, looking for more thrillers. And then I, I picked up this one because it was recommended to me by a couple people when I asked for thriller recommendations, and that is The Housemaid by Frida McFadden. This cover is so creepy. Like, why is her eyeball so close up? Hello? <laughs> great price. This was a great price. It was only like 12 bucks. Anyway, I don't know anything about this, but I've heard lots of good things. And like I said, it was recommended to me. There's supposed to be like a really good plot twist. I love a good plot twist. So obviously I assume this is about a housemaid and she... Oh, she works for the Winchester family. I thought this was going to be like... I don't know if it's about like the family's kind of sus or the housemaid is kind of sus. I'm sorry, I just said sus. Um, <laughs> the Winchesters don't know who I really am. They don't know what I'm capable of. Okay, I did get that at Barnes & Noble. And then I also picked up a thriller that I've been wanting to read for so long, like literally years, and I don't even know why. And that is He Started It by Samantha Downing. I remember hearing good things about this a couple of years ago, and I'm pretty sure it's like a road trip type of thriller. Beth, Portia, and Eddie Morgan haven't all been together in years, and for very good reasons. We'll get to those later. But when their wealthy grandfather dies and leaves a cryptic final message in his wake, the siblings and their respective partners must come together for a cross-country road trip to fulfill his final wish and more importantly secure their inheritance. The time with your family can be tough. It is for everyone. It's even harder when you're all keeping secrets and trying to forget a memory, a missing person, an act of revenge, the man in the black truck who won't stop following your car, and especially 
especially when at least one of you is a killer and there's a body in the trunk, just to name a few reasons. But money is a powerful motivator. It is for everyone. This sounds so good, does it not? I'm really, really excited about this. And like I said, it has just been something that's been floating in the back of my mind. I'm, I'm excited. I might start this soon. I say that about like literally all these books, but... This sounds really good. Two final books to talk about, and these ones are ones that I bought from Book of the Month for November. The first one being The Last Party by Claire McIntosh. This is another thriller. Um, it sounds like another typical like whodunit thriller. On the front it says, at midnight one of them is dead, by morning all of them are suspects. Just because it like takes place on a lake house, I just love that setting, especially in thrillers. It's like so creepy. In a village with this many secrets, murder is just the beginning. It seems like a type of thriller that I would really enjoy. And then the whole reason why I even wanted to get that box was because of this book. Before I Let Go by Kennedy Ryan. This is her newest release, obviously. Look at this cover. Hello, it is so, so beautiful. I love her writing. I love the Hoop series. And so I'm really excited to read this new one. I think this is another one that has to do with like a married couple or a used to be married couple, which is not my favorite thing to read about, as I've mentioned before. But I mean, I love a good second chance romance and I do love Kennedy Ryan. I'm so excited to read more from her. And with that being said, the end. There's my book haul. Look at all these thick books. So there you have it. Another book haul for the books. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed witnessing all of my terrible spending habits. But you know what? Just looking at this new fresh stack of books makes me so happy. If you've read any of these, feel free to let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you think I'm gonna like any of these or if you think I'm gonna hate them. I don't know. I don't care. Um, yeah, that's all I really have to say. So thank you so much for watching. And until next time, bye!